Jackie and I'm back with another hashtag fit with Jack episode and today I'm gonna do a full body workout routine so this is a follow along so you can do the workouts with me while I do them we're gonna do arms legs and abs so I hope you guys are ready and let's get started so before any type of workout, you always want to make sure that you warm up your body first. So I like to go for a run for about 15 minutes. You can run on a treadmill, run in place, or run around the block like I am. So we're going to start with the arms. So grab some dumbbells. Um, use whatever weight you're comfortable with. Um, I started off at using 3 pound weights and now I'm all the way up to 7.5 pounds. So start where you're comfortable. So we're doing bicep curls. So you want to keep your elbows in close to your side and bring your arms down at a 90 degree angle and just curl them up. So we're going to do 3 sets of 10 and in this video I will show you one full set and then you can replay it 2 more times to complete the full 3 sets. So now we're going to do hammer curls and we're just going to turn our hands inward and repeat the same motion. So keep your elbows in and bring your hands down at a 90 degree angle. Remember we're doing 10 reps so 3 more now. Last one. Great job. So now we're going to move on to working on the triceps. So these are called tricep extensions. So you want to lift your arm straight up and keep your elbow in close to your face and just bring your forearm down and I like to hold my elbow for support and it also helps keep my elbow in place because for this workout you don't want your elbow to wander off to the side or anything like that. We're gonna do two more before we switch to the next side. So now I'm gonna switch arms and repeat the same process and I'm gonna count if you guys don't mind. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, last one, and ten. If your arms aren't burning yet, try picking up heavier dumbbells. So now we're going to do tricep kickbacks. So you're going to bend a little forward, have your knees slightly bent and your back straight, and you're going to extend your arm back. So I'm alternating my arms, so we're going to be counting like this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we're going to move on to the leg workout. So we're going to do dumbbell lunges. So you want to hold your dumbbells at your side and take a step forward and do a lunge. When you do lunges, you want to make sure that your knee doesn't go past your toe. So I could be counting for you guys right now, but I feel like my counting sounds very robotic. So let me know in the comments if you want my next fitness video to have me counting or would you just rather have the music play like this. Alright, last one and now we're going to move on to step ups. So you want to grab a stool or bench, something sturdy because you're going to be putting your entire weight on it. So I'm going to hold my dumbbells at the side and step up with one foot at a time and lift up the other leg towards my chest. So I'm focusing on my right leg first. You can do alternating legs like step up with your right leg first and then your left leg next but I like to focus on one leg at a time so we're going to start with the right leg and bring our left leg towards our chest and just repeat this process until we get to 10 and then we're going to switch sides. Last one and now switching sides so I'm stepping up with my left foot now and bringing my right leg up towards my chest. The higher the bench or stool is, the more harder and challenging this workout becomes. So if you're struggling, try finding a shorter stool to use. And just a reminder, for every exercise I'm showing you, we're doing three sets of 10. So in this video, I'm showing you one full set. So then at the end, you can replay this video two more times to complete the full three sets. Now we're gonna take it to the ground. So if you're working on concrete 
or hardwood floor, grab a towel or yoga mat, and we're gonna go on our hands and knees and do glute kickbacks. So you wanna take one leg at a time and just kick it back towards the sky. This exercise is gonna help tone, shape, and lift your booty. Five more now. Three, two, and one. So now we're gonna move on to the next leg. So now that we've finished this, we're gonna flip over and lay on our back and we're gonna do the bridge. So you wanna just keep your knees bent and lift your booty and your hips towards the sky and we're gonna do this 10 times. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna work on abs, which is my favorite, and this first workout is my actual favorite of all of them. So we're gonna do bus drivers. So grab a weight or medicine ball. Here I'm using a 10 pound weight, and you wanna lean back and levitate your legs and twist from side to side. I love it because I hear my back crack and it just feels so good when I do this workout. Now we're gonna lay back and we're gonna do reverse crunches. So I like to sit on my hands for extra support and we're gonna put our legs straight out and lift it up and lift our butt and our hips as high as we can. I don't know about you guys, but the last few reps of this workout definitely burn for me. But don't worry, it's a good kind of burn. <laughs> okay, time to flip over again. So we're gonna go on our stomach and we're gonna do the plank. And we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna start the timer. And for the plank, you wanna be on your elbows and toes and keep your butt down. For this demonstration, my butt is actually a little too high, but normally when I do this workout, I do it in front of a mirror so that I can see my form and correct any mistakes. So make sure you're doing this in front of a mirror so you can see if your butt is too high or not. Your back, including your butt, should be completely flat for this workout. Almost done, three, two, one. Great job, guys. So now we are going to move on to scorpions. So this is a kind of strange looking workout, but we're gonna lay on our stomach and twist our legs back and try to reach towards the ground if you can. If you can't, just try to get as close to the ground as you can. Here's a little tip. If you squeeze your butt during this workout, you're gonna feel it a lot more. Last one. Yay, I'm so proud of you guys for completing this workout with me. Now we're gonna stretch together and I really like doing the butterfly stretch. So you put your feet together and bring them in and then you try to push your knees down as low to the ground as you can. And then I also like doing the Hollywood stretch. You put one leg straight and then cross the other one over and twist to the side. This one feels really good too on the back. For arms, I like to do the tricep stretch, so I'm just going to hold my elbow behind my head and just gently pull until you feel a nice stretch, and then the cross body arm stretch as well. Thank you guys so much for doing this workout with me. I'm so proud of you. Be sure to replay this video two more times so that you can complete the full three sets and you can add this video to your favorites so you can come back to it so you can do this workout at least once or twice a week. So thanks again for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, have a magical day.